special name? Bond. James Bond. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best movies of 2021. How about me, Green Knight? For this list, we're looking at the past year's finest cinematic offerings. Whether they lit up streaming services, reignited the box office, or unified audiences in their mutual love for the medium. What's your favorite movie of 2021? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Matrix Resurrections. Time to fly. It may have been 18 years since we last plugged into The Matrix on the big screen, but it was worth the wait. Whether you liked the first two sequels or not, you'll find something in Resurrections that'll free your mind as well as make you grateful that director Lana Wachowski let us go back down the rabbit hole with Neo and Trinity. Part of me feels like I have been waiting my whole life for you. Of course, all the things you loved about the original are present. Kick-ass action scenes, trippy sci-fi, ethical and philosophical discussions, and badass characters. But there are also many nostalgia-inducing callbacks, multiple cameos, clever meta-references, plenty of humor, and world-building. Or should we say world-resurrecting? Oh, and it's even got a love story for you romantics out there. Time to fly, dude. Kung Fu. Number 9. The Power of the Dog This western drama is the definition of a slow burn, but the final destination is rewarding in unexpected ways. Well, Brother Phil, we had such a nice trip. I'm not your brother. You're a cheap schemer. Nothing is as it seems in Jane Campion's film, which won her the Silver Lion at Venice. A callous rancher could be hiding his insecurity behind a stone face. A young introvert could be the most threatening person in the room. Most people look at it and just see a hill. When Bronco looked at it, what do you suppose he saw? A barking dog. Much like the mountains in the background, sometimes you need to look a little closer. You might find a dog-shaped shadow in there. The question is whether the dog will bite you or not. They're so soft. So precious. So beautiful. Kirsten Dunst gives a raw supporting performance as a woman struggling with alcoholism, while Benedict Cumberbatch delivers what might be his most layered work as a man confronting his own demons. Was he your best friend? Yeah. He was. But more than that, once he saved my life. Number 8. West Side Story year full of innovative movie musicals, you wouldn't expect another West Side Story to be anything mind-blowing. Of course, you should never underestimate director Steven Spielberg. Mr. Spielberg's first musical is also among his best films of the 21st century. While only time will tell if Spielberg's film outshines its Best Picture winning predecessor, his version definitely elevates several aspects. Who are you? Friend or foe? In addition to the more diverse casting, characters like Tony, Maria, and Riff have never been more complex. The titular Upper West Side has never felt harsher or as widely inhabited. It's still the same story and the same music we love. However, Spielberg, screenwriter Tony Kushner, and especially choreographer Justin Peck put a spin on every set piece, making this West Side story their own. Life matters even more than love. Number 7. Coda Coda is a unique family dramedy, but also a surprisingly relatable one. Amelia Jones leads a wonderful cast that includes Marley Matlin and Troy Kotzer. Jones shines as Ruby, the only person in her family able to hear. 
concealing a voice that could take her to Berkeley. Ruby is torn between pursuing her passion and supporting her family. While not everyone can identify with Ruby's precise situation, the internal struggle of dreams versus responsibility is universal. Coda tackles these themes with heart, humor, and honesty. It also explores facets of the deaf community rarely touched upon, such as sexual activity. At its core, CODA is about a family learning to listen in one way or another, culminating with one of the year's most joyous finales. It's love's illusions, I recall. I really don't know love at all. Number six, Mass. It's such a simple title, and yet one that works on multiple levels. I blame myself, and I can't change that. What do you mean? I can't. When you say that, what do you, what do you mean? When you say that? I can't change what I've done. Following an unspeakable tragedy, four parents meet to discuss their anguish, regrets, and unresolved conflict. Reed Burney, Ann Dowd, Jason Isaacs, and Martha Plimpton round out an unparalleled ensemble, with each bringing different dimensions to the phenomenon of grief. I'm just asking what changed. It's very hard to answer. Well, please try. It's not just one thing. Fran Kranz's original screenplay is a triumph of dialogue, but his intimate direction deserves just as much praise. Given its limited setting, Mass easily could have felt like a filmed version of a play. While Kranz incorporates the claustrophobia of the stage, he also delivers a cinematic touch, turning the audience into flies on the walls. The back and forth between these characters is gut-wrenching, but it's a conversation that needs to be had. Tell me about your son. What would you like to know? Everything. I want to know everything. Why? Why do I want to know about your son? Because he killed mine. Number five, the Mitchells versus the Machines. Bleep blorp, bleep blorp. I am a robot. Just to educate you, that's a hurtful stereotype. 2021 was another stellar year for animation. Disney delivered a rousing adventure with Raya and the Last Dragon, while Pixar's Luca provided a heartfelt story about acceptance. The best animated feature, though, is one that thought outside the box and colored outside of the lines. Is that a dog or? Dog, pig, dog, pig, dog, pig, dog, pig, dog, pig. dog. loaf of bread, system error. <laughs> While it possesses echoes of other modern classics like Spider-Verse, The Mitchells vs. The Machines is a wholly original fusion of different artistic techniques that go together flawlessly. With a style that draws the line between nostalgia and innovation, every moment pops with visual wonder and sight gags that demand a second viewing. Why would someone build that? No animated film this year made us laugh harder but it's the emotional connection we form with these characters that elevates Mitchells to masterclass status. Number four, Belfast. Few films released in 2021 better define the importance of cinema than Belfast. In some respects, movies mirror life. In other respects, they provide escapism from the hardships of life. For Buddy, a young boy living in Belfast during the Troubles, movies are life. No wonder you brought us to this. It's educational for the boys. Hi. <gasps> Raquel Welch is a hell of an education. Kenneth Branagh's semi-autobiographical coming-of-age story makes impeccable use of its black-and-white lens. The cinematography reflects our longing for the past, but also the bleaker moments that we hide behind nostalgia goggles. Movies are the consistent bright spot, even when they aren't in color. What you've done with these two, it's phenomenal. <sighs> what are you talking about? 
Erased. Katrina Balf and Jamie Dornan turn in career best performances, but the ensemble's success rests on the shoulders of newcomer Jude Hill, who, at only age 10, holds his own against Kieran Hines and Judi Dench. And I watched every night too that they were up there. And how did I never see Mike Collins in the mothership doing his orbit? Surely you would have seen the sheep of Columbus against the light of the moon. No, oh, that's because mostly he was on the dark side. Exactly, it's the side that Lucifer hangs his shillelagh. No. Number three, Spider-Man, No Way Home. Hello, Peter. Hi, do, we, do I know you? From Black Widow to Shang-Chi, 2021 continued the reign of superheroes. Or anti-heroes in the Suicide Squad's case. I'm a superhero! Yet no comic book movie proved more stimulating, emotional, or ambitious than No Way Home. Peter, you're struggling to have everything you want while the world tries to make you choose. In an era when it's becoming increasingly hard to deliver on expectations while also subverting them, No Way Home gives just about everything we could want. Considering the ups and downs that the Spider-Man series has seen over the past two decades, some may say it's a miracle this movie got made at all. The real miracle, though, is that the results are so damn satisfying, embracing the franchise's roots while also looking ahead to a bold future. For any generation who grew up with Spidey, it is the ultimate love letter. Number 2. Dune the test is simple. Remove your hand from the box, and you die. It's in a box. Pain. Whatever your thoughts on David Lynch's version are, most would agree that Denis Villeneuve's Dune is the cinematic adaptation we've been waiting for. Well, at least the beginning of it. Dreams make good stories, but everything important happens when we're awake. Because that's when we make things happen. Given the volume of its source material, Villeneuve's decision to split Dune into two movies was a wise call. Dune Part 1 still works as a standalone achievement, though, immersing its audience in a sci fi universe that stands out from all others. My desert. My Iraqis. My Dune. While you could teach a college course about the Dune lore, Villeneuve primarily relies on visual storytelling, with breathtaking landscapes and thought-provoking themes beneath the surface. Every cast member does their character justice, adding to the film's distinctive personality. The word epic gets tossed around a lot, but Dune definitely fits that description. My road leads into the desert. I can see it. If you'll have us, we will come. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Free Guy, one of the year's funniest and most original comedies. What the sh Nightmare Alley, Guillermo del Toro plus neo-noir equals a dream come true. If you help me, we can make quite a big dent in this town. You barely know me. Oh, I know. You're no good, and I know that because neither am I. The harder they fall, the good, the badass, and the ugly. Let me dictate terms of engagement. King Richard, quite possibly Will Smith's crowning achievement. I think you might just have the next Michael Jordan on your hands. Oh, no, brother man. I got me the next two. Spencer. Kristen Stewart gives arguably the performance of the year. Succession. It's currency. That's all we have. Don't Look Up, a sharp satire that hits home like a comet headed for Earth. At this very moment, I say we sit tight and assess. Sit tight and assess. Sit tight and, and assess. You want us to sit tight. And then assess. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Licorice Pizza Paul Thomas Anderson's latest tour de force possesses the vintage vibes of Boogie Nights and the unconventional romance of punch-drunk love. 
Licorice Pizza by no means lives in the shadow of his previous works, however. Do you know who I am? Yeah. Do you know uh, who my girlfriend is? Barbara Streisand? Barbara Streisand. Sand. Sand, yeah, like sands, like the ocean, like beaches. Barbara Streisand? No, like Streisand. Sand. The film tastes every bit as unique as its title suggests, balancing absurd humor, a nostalgic aesthetic, and a love story that keeps us invested with every step. Do you really want to see my boobs? Can I touch them? See you tomorrow. Alana Hayam and Cooper Hoffman play two sides of the same coin, exploring the spontaneity of youth, the uncertainty of adulthood, and the curveballs that apply to all ages. Even when they're simply hanging out, there's an authenticity to licorice pizza that we can only describe as magical. I'm not gonna forget you. Who's in the best like you're not gonna forget me. Gross. Wherever you'd rank it in Anderson's filmography, this is by far his most uplifting picture. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.